If you like playing around with the virtual machines and testing all sort of different stuff, but you don't have your dedicated server and you don't have a Proxmox or whatever else deployed, there is still an option. In this video, we're gonna go through the most popular and known cloud providers, and we're gonna find the one which allows you to use at least one or maybe even a couple of virtual machines absolutely free at no cost forever. What kind of most common uh, cloud providers do we have? Whenever someone talks about a cloud, we usually think AWS, uh, probably Azure. Those would be the two most common one. And I really did a search today and uh, was trying to look like, let's say we have a, a top five cloud providers in 2024 which uh, as you can see I already clicked on the IBM, Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Services, so AWS, GCP, DigitalOcean, Salesforce, Alibaba, Oracle, and IBM Cloud, and, and much more. But which of them actually gives us the chance to have a free virtual machines without a limitation? Starting with uh, what do we have? AWS. There we have AWS free tier, which has gain free hands on experience with AWS products and services. And you must understand that each cloud provider basically can divide in uh, two different parts. Like they do offer a free trial, which is limited to the time period. And during the free trial, most of the cloud providers do have a free virtual machines and many other services, but mostly that's only for three months and all of the cloud providers also have such thing as uh, always free so you can stay on the free tier pay no money and use the offered services forever at no cost but of course you must be careful to not have any hidden expenses uh, under that so if we check aw aws we definitely need to need to look on the always free and here is the list of all the resources and services that are available for free but we are interesting for compute and by clicking on a compute we can see that we don't have a virtual machines so for AWS, we get only Lambda resources, 1 million free requests per month, and that's it. So in AWS, you are not able to get a free virtual machines without a time limit. Let's close this. Second one, the most popular, second most popular, whatever, Azure. Again, same story. You can have... Um, you can have the limited trial, which is for some month, or you can have... 55 plus other services that are always free. So no matter the time period, you can sign up three months, six months, one year, those resources will be free. And here, unfortunately, right away, we can see that Windows and Linux virtual machines are free, but they're limited for 12 months each. And 12 months is not bad. It's much better than three months in AWS. And uh, well, it's one year and you can use the virtual machine of the Windows and Linux 70, 50 hours each of B1, B2 PTS, V2 ARM based and B2 ATS, V2 AMD based burstable virtual machines for all sort of different activities that you might have. Then the one that I really wanted to try because in one of my uh, previous videos, someone uh, commented that Oracle Cloud is the best because it offers like a free virtual machine without any problem. It just works and, and no hustle at all. And I really tried it. And as you can see, it's always free. Compute AMD compute instances and ARM compute instances. Um, A1 cores, 24 gigs of memory, usable as one virtual machine or up to four virtual machines, 3000 uh, OCPU hours and 80,000 gigabytes hours per month. It's fantastic. But the problem is I was not even able to sign up. Like that's one thing. I was not able to sign up. And second thing, let me be honest with you, the visual design of Oracle Cloud page is not very pretty, in my opinion. I didn't like it from the scratch. And of course, Oracle, Oracle people might love or hate Oracle, but I wanted to give it a try. And I really couldn't. I tried to sign up and every time when you need, it is required to enter the credit card to 
uh, you need to add a payment. If Even if you're staying as a free tier user and don't plan to pay anything, you still have to add a credit card. It's not going to be billed. You're not going to be charged for anything, but you must do that. And I couldn't. I tried multiple credit cards and refreshing, and it always uh, throws an error message that... Uh, uh, request rate limit reached and try refreshing the page or reach out to the support. I tried to refresh it and nothing has changed uh, in, in multiple minutes. And the most frustrating part that, that I did Google the error message and uh, Oracle Cloud and Reddit and whatever. And I found artic articles that are one year, two year old and that are complaining about the same problem that they cannot sign for the Oracle Cloud because the same error message rate limit exceeded. So so I did not spend much more time and we canceled this one. Also, there was DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean doesn't offer the free virtual machines. And then we found a good one. Um, I actually never used this, but uh, and here we can find the compute age engine, scalable high performance virtual machines, one E2 micro instance per month, which is not actually true. Let's click here. Let's go into more details. And here we can find the compute engine. This is located under the free tier usage limits. Free tier resources are available for the GCP services listed in the following tables, subject to the listed limitations for information about the Google Map platform. See the pricing page. So the one above somewhere here is see the trial 90 day, 90 days, $300 that you can use. No question about that. But this one free tier is free forever. But of course, we have a limitation for the compute engines, we can use not one non preemptible E2 micro virtual uh, machine instance per month in one of the following US regions. Here we have limitation on the regions, we have only 30 gigabytes of the standard persistent disk and keep this in mind, I will show this why this is important later, and one gigabyte of outbound, outbound data transfer from North America to all region destination, which means that you have only one gig of the free data transfer. If you will have more, you'll have to pay for that, even if the virtual machine is uh, um, free. And very interesting thing is that your free tier E2 micro instance limit is by time, not by the instance. So you are not limited to have one free virtual machine. You can have two free virtual machines if each of them uh, will be not used more than two weeks. So total combined time of these virtual machines that match these specs should not exceed one month. And uh, how can you use that? Very simple. You need to go to the GCP. And uh, it's 100% tied to your um, Gmail account, not a Gmail Google account, right? And I already signed up today. But uh, basically, if you are trying to sign up yourself, um, let me try to do it like this, I will open another account. Um, let's do this one. <clears throat> There we go. We need to try for free. Then you will be required to fill in uh, application for uh, the payment. And of course, all the private details like your location, name, last name, phone number for the ver verification, city, postal code and stuff like that. You are also required to add a credit card, but you will not be charged anything. It's zero zero. And it's also possible to add like single use credit card or any any. Well, you don't need to have a balance on it. I've added uh, an empty single use credit card just for the verification and it works fine. So then you can log in to the GCP platform as such, you can click here and find the compute engines and the VM instances. When you first time go here, you will have you will not have the big blue button with the create instance, you will have a big blue button with something like enable uh, compute API, you need to click that wait for at least a minute, it will enable all the compute services on your GCP, which will allow you to create the virtual machines. So then you can click create an instance. And it's very important, we need to have handy uh, the list of uh, all the requirements for the free tier. And remember US West one as example. So US West one, Oregon, 
and the zone doesn't matter, but pay attention that all of the default values, they're not matching the requirements for the free tier. So US West 1, 30 gigs standard persistent disks. Um, first of all, it's E2 micro, right? E2 micro, as we can see it here, E2 micro, then 30 gigs uh, of the standard persistent disk. That's also we need to change. Uh, which is uh, which is here under the boot disk always struggle to find it so we need to click change and you can choose the operating system whatever you want it can be Debian, CentOS, Ubuntu, whatever version boot disk type from balanced persistent disk we need to change to the standard persistent disk as uh, our requirements and we can change the size to 30 gigabytes click select and uh, that's about it. That's the only thing that you have to do to have a free virtual machine. Despite the fact that your monthly estimate is $7. That is if you are, well, it actually doesn't count it as a free tier. But whenever the end of the month comes, if you fit in these requirements and you don't exceed um, network requirements, one gigabyte of outbound uh, data transfer from NA, then you will not be charged anything. So now you can click create. Um, it will take a couple of minutes probably to spin it up. Let's wait for a minute. And there we go. The virtual machine is up and running. As you can see, the instance name, the status is running. The zone is US West 1B, internal IP, external IP. And if you don't believe that it's running, you can click on the SSH. It will take a couple of seconds and you will see your SSH terminal here in the browser. And for the authentication, it is using the keys and also your Google account. There's going to be a prompt for to authorize to your SSH. So allow, yes, click OK. It will take one moment establishing connection to the SSH server. And there we go. We have uh, our CLI for our free virtual machine, which took us only a couple of minutes. So this is how you can get a free virtual machines. And uh, I hope that this helps. I hope that you will try it out and play around with the virtual machines and try all the other stuff that I try to suggest to you in the other videos. So thank you for watching. See you later.